Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. When I reflect on this gospel passage, I am reminded of the coat of arms of Archbishop Emeritus Curtis. Archbishop Curtis ordained me in 1997, and on his heraldry below his coat of arms, it says that all may be one, taking this verse from St. John's Gospel, that desire that the work and actions of his ministry would help to make all one in Christ, that our thoughts, words, and actions together might truly serve the purpose of Christ in the world. For us, in our work, we must have that desire. We must look towards Christ to be the one who directs us, that we submit our will, our life, to his direction. Often reminded at the beginning of liturgies, uh, just ahead of leaving the sacristy, I will pray asking God for the grace for myself and for all who serve as liturgical ministers in the Holy Mass, that our actions might bring glory and honor to Christ's holy name, and that our witness might be an instrument of peace and reconciliation for all who seek Christ. Let us pray today that we truly might be one in heart, in mind, in action with Christ, who desires that we be one with him and the Father through the power of the Holy Spirit. As we get closer to celebrating the Feast of Pentecost, may we be enlivened by the Spirit to do all we can to advance the gospel, the kingdom of the Lord. Blessings on your day.